Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to mod BeamNG Drive in a couple of minutes. Now it will depend on how fast it will going to do it, but usually this will take me about like a couple of minutes, maybe hours, but who, who knows. Today's video is going to be modifying the MK1 Pessima to add some uh, extra versions of the wide uh, body parts, because why the hell not? So in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly unpack the files, how to open up the models file in Blender, how to modify them in Blender, and then how to make the models appear in the game, and how to uh, pack them all back, and also how to upload them on BeamNG repository. One small edit, uh, I'm also going to show how to G-Beam too, because why the heck not, it's pretty simple anyway. Anyway, back to the main video. So first of all, let's actually think what we're going to do in this video. So I want to modify the MK1 Pessima, and I want to add, as I mentioned before, some extra parts for the white body parts. First of all is to locate the files of the game, because that's what we need. So I have a Steam version of the game, so what I'm going to do is to uh, right click on the BeamNG drive, manage, and then browse the local files. This will open up for me a new window, which uh, is going to uh, automatically open up the uh, BMG uh, files, which is all of this essentially. And right now, I will keep this away, and the thing we're going to do right now is to create some folders here. So we're going to modify a Bishop Pessimo MK1, and uh, first of all, you have to know the internal name of the car. So because we're going to be modifying the... Uh, first gen uh, Ibishu Pessima in the game, it is going to be named in the files as Pessima. So you can check what car it is by internal name by going into the folder and then uh, finding the uh, picture called default. Whenever you press on it, it will show up the uh, default picture of the car. In this case, we are right, this is MK1 Pessima, so that's what we're going to do. And with that in mind, we go back to this folder right here, or whatever you're going to place it in. Then you create a new folder, name it Vehicles, then go to that folder again, and then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to create another folder, but this time name it with the name of the internal name. So because this is NK1 Pessima, and the internal name as we know is Pessima, we're going to just type Pessima. Now, if you modify a different car, it will be of course different, so check that up and uh, write the uh, internal name of the car right here. You can copy it too, it, it is also an option, so yeah. And the next thing I'm going to do is to put some files. Now, uh, what I'm going to specifically modify is going to be the bumpers, because I want new bumpers uh, to the car. So what I'm going to do is to search for the bumpers files. And I found them right now, it's these files right here. The Pessima Bumper F, which is front, and Pessima Bumper R, which is, of course, rear. So I'm going to copy all those and put them here. And the next thing I want is the model of the car itself, because we need to modify that too. So select that too, and we're going to paste it here. Now, here's another thing. You can use Notepad for this, but I recommend using the Notepad++ or Visual Studio Code because it's much easier to modify the files like this in programs that are specifically made for coding. I'm using Notepad++, but you can use the Visual Studio Code if you want to. So, once we put the files that we need to modify, first of all, you have to rename them. Because if you keep the default names of these files, it may actually corrupt the game. So, uh, to avoid that, the next thing you're going to do is to just rename them. Now, keep in mind, you don't need to actually add spaces to the uh, file, because it may actually do some issues with the file, so I don't recommend to put spaces anywhere. So, I'm going to name this, uh, let's say, extra. That's it. And I'm going to do the same thing with this file. And as you can see, we renamed these files right here to say extra on them, so it won't actually uh, corrupt any of these files here. Because again, if they have the same name here as the uh, files over here, they will actually conflict with each other and corrupt the car itself. Now with that in mind, let's actually 
stop modifying. Now let's open up the uh, bumpers files. And the next thing I'm going to do is to locate the white body parts. You can do just this, but I'm going to only select this and remove it because I need just the white body stuff. Yeah, it, this is it. So save the file. And the same thing I'm going to do with this file. I'm going to remove those too. There you go. And this is pretty much it. Uh, I already saved it, so yeah. So the next thing is going to be renaming the parts. Each part actually has its own internal name. Not only just this name, but also internal one. If both internal names are going to be similar, similar with the sim, similar with the exact same uh, names of the files, they will start conflicting with each other and possibly corrupt the car. So keep that in mind. So I want to match the name of this with the name of the file i'm going to put underscore extra and it's going to say extra on it same thing is going to be with the rear bumper so i'm going to do the same thing and now we have the extra now the next thing is going to be naming the part so you can actually see what what it's named in the game not just the internal name keep in mind if you keep the same exact name but you will confuse yourself it, it will display in the game but it's going to be confusing to know which one is yours and which one is the default or games one so i'm going to put just extra here same thing here so i will know it is my change save two of them and that's pretty much it now the next thing is going to be modifying the model if you see this flex bodies that is actually the models themselves right here so the next thing we're going to do is to open up the model file we have uh, put over here. The .day file is actually the uh, format for 3D model files. Now I recommend using Blender but you can actually use any other 3D, uh, 3D modeling software that supports day files. It is all, all the way up to you but I will recommend using Blender because it's much easier to understand and uh, you have a lot of tutorials on YouTube of how to use it. Keep in mind, uh, this tutorial isn't about how to use the blender, so I recommend watching some blender tutorials, some basic blender tutorials, so you can actually easily understand how to use the blender. And with that in mind, uh, let's open up the blender, and then go to file, import, collada.day. Then uh, locate the folder where you put the uh, uh, mod stuff. In my case, I put it in BMG mods, and it's going to be the folder named for tutorial. So I'm going to find that. Here it is. Vehicles. Pessima. And here's the Pessima underscore extra that they click import Colada once that's selected. And we imported the model of the car. We don't need the entire model of the car. So the only thing we need is only the white body parts. This is how it's called here. And this is it in the uh, blender. Here it is. I selected it and this is how it looks like. So I need to select all of them and in my case I need to select the bumper F kit and bumper R kit because that's what I'm modifying. So double click on those to deselect and then press delete so you can actually delete them. And we only just left with uh, these parts. So um, it is now all the way up to you how to model the parts but in my case I want to just make them flat underneath here and just you know ha have a big ass beard on the bumper so that's what I'm going to do Alright, this is uh, kind of looking weird, but uh, this is uh, what I just did in a couple of minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's not one of the best models yet, especially here, it's uh, clipping right here, I'm going to fix that real quick. It's not the best model yet, but for a tutorial it's going to be fine. Uh, you can do a bit better, so uh, yeah. So, uh, with that changed, all we need to do is to change the model name, because again, as with the naming of the files and naming of the parts right here, you have to also rename the uh, 
model name. I want it to be like the name of the part, so I'm going to just copy here. It's, it's pretty much the same, so I'm just copying it. And the same thing I'm going to do with this thing. So, uh, extra. And the same thing for the rear one. Now, with that finished, uh, we press file, then export, and collada that day. We go to the folder where the um, uh, model is, and uh, I recommend to uncheck the texture options if you have uh, textures enabled. So I recommend to uncheck that. Uh, the next thing is going, and the next thing is of course pressing the export collada. Export two objects. We have successfully imported the models, and with that in mind, let's actually see how it's going to look like in the game. Now, you can actually just copy the vehicles and then go to BeamNG folder and paste it here. But what I'm actually doing instead is making the zip files. So, if so, I won't have because uh, this is going to be quicker for me to pack the files. And if the mod is going to be finished, I can instantly publish it on a uh, repo. So, that's what I'm doing. So. I pack the zip file and then control C and then go to the uh, BMG uh, folder right here where you put the mods in manually. Then go to mods folder and paste it here. Here you go. Now the next thing is going to be opening the game. Alright, I'm in the game. I actually ignore the uh, sky for some reason, but like, I have to fix that. So we are in a game and now what I'm going to do is to select the pessima we spawned it the, as you can see it properly walks it revs the car didn't actually get corrupted and most importantly because we added additional bumpers the bumpers didn't disappear because we didn't actually modify the main uh, file of the bumpers instead we just created a new one specifically for all parts so the next thing we're going to do is to go to wiko configuration which is this or pressing Control W to open it then we go to body and when you look at that we have the white body extra from bumper that is the name that we have given it when we uh, were editing the uh, bumper file so we're going to put that and as you can see the model is also visible here <laughs> it's so goofy and let's see if it does the same thing with the rear yeah here you go it's the same exact thing with the rear what a junk, isn't it? <laughs> well, this marks uh, the end of- I, 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 I forgot some stuff. Remember when I said G-beaming? We're going to actually do this because, if you look here, it's not aligned with the model. Every single time you add a model, it's not going to always align with the uh, model, of course. So to fix that, we're going to use additional software for this. And the software is called Node Beam Editor. This is uh, the really simple Node Beam Editor. And it's uh, not really complicated as some say, but it might be for some people. So uh, you have to find it in a description, uh, which I'm going to put in. And the next thing is going to be opening the bumper files. And the next thing I'm going to do is to copy this part. And then I'm going to put this at the end of the notes section. Uh, you can edit the beams if you want to, but it's all the way up to you. And in the program, you select this, then paste it here. Refresh, and here's the uh, notes right here. Now the next thing is open up the blender with the uh, bumper files that you have edited. Select all of them, file, export and select wavefront.obj it will show up this with many many of these settings but the only thing we need is to select selected only and you can put the model files whatever you want but i'm going to put it in a folder for tutorials so uh, i'm going to call it bumpers export wavefront and the next thing is going to the same program where we put the nodes in. File, import reference mesh from OBG. Go to that same folder where you put the uh, bumpers file, bumpers.obg. And here it is. 
we see that the nose are aligned with the top of the bumper, but it's not aligned with the bottom. So the next thing I'm going to do is to choose the rectangular select and uh, select the nodes. Then the next thing is press move and uh, we align them like this. Use the numpad uh, to move the camera. If you have the numpad, of course. So, I'm going to align it perfectly. And once you finish editing the G-Beam, press refresh, and it's going to upgrade the positions of the nodes. So, the next thing is select the nodes, like this. Copy, and then back to the same program, where you copied the bumpers uh, nodes in the first place, paste the new one in, save it, and I'm going to do the same thing with the rare one. Alright, so align the same thing with the rare one, update, refresh, and then select all of them, actually no, like this. Copy, Control V, and I'm done. And we are done with the program, so we can just close it. I'm going to delete these files right here because we don't need them now. Vehicles, and then we pack the mod again. I'm going to remove the uh, thing here. I'm going to beam and G folder, mods, paste it. Yep. Then we go back to the game. The game is refreshed, and, oh hang on, and let's see if it's aligned or not, yes, here it is, it's now aligned, and it's perfectly G-beamed, yeah, it's going to be painful driving on the curb, so, yeah, that's amazing, same with the rear too. So, if you finished modding, and you want to share this with the publicity, to the other place of the game, you can actually do it on the repo. So, um, we'll go back to the folder in which we, uh, pa hang on, what? So we go back to the same folder in which we pack the mod. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the BMG website. Uh, for some reason, provided blocked the website. I will figure it out a bit later, but uh, right now I'm going to use the VPN. It doesn't really going to matter for me. It's going to be a little fast anyway. So, first of all, you have to register the website. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to uh, Mods of Mods, which is basically what this thing is. It's the uh, additional parts mod, which is basically a mod of a car. Yeah, you get me. So we are in Mods of Mods, add resource, and this is where you add the resource. So you give it a title, so let's say Goofy Bumpers, let's say. Goofy Bumpers version string can be anything, but it has to be 1.0 or something like that, so 1.0, I'm going to give it 1.0. Uh, then you have uh, prefixes, if the mod is like in beta, alpha, experimental, and for some reason they can't those for some reasons but you don't really need to use them subtitle is what it says it's the uh, mini title of the uh, thing so I'm going to say on it goofy bumpers no wide body bumpers for mk1 pessima the unique ID will be automatically be set so you cannot edit it uh, upload your resource. It, this is where you upload the file. So uh, locate the folder where you packed it in a zip file For tutorial here it is 160 kilobytes open It's going to be put here and once you see pessima extra that zip uh, This is pretty much it. I'm not going to post anything. So I'm going to just delete it That's it and here's the description we you can put absolutely anything on it that you want to Additional URL if you want to, and upload the resource icon, which has to be, which should be, uh, more than 96 by 96 pixels. It can be more than that, but it should be not like a 4K image. So keep that in mind. And once you've finished everything, make sure that you upload the resource. You 
for a save and it's going to uh, publish the mod but it's not going to instantly publish the mod the first thing it has to do is to uh, uh, pass the verification check by the uh, modders on the website and once the modders will accept your mod it will essentially appear on the website and everyone can actually download it so uh, yeah and this marks a full end of this video if i helped you to start modding the bmg drive and like the video too you can consider subscribing if you want to you can just leave a like if you want to you can comment if you want to it's all the way up to you i'm not going to force it like any other youtuber does so this is pretty much it thanks for watching guys see you soon